Yo, what's going on everyone? This is One Doctor Genius and welcome back to our Prodigy video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Amber Shirt and how we can catch it. So you might be wondering, well, what is this Amber Shirt? Well, it's one of the rarest pets in Prodigy which you can catch. Remember the word, catch. Because nowadays, this pet is so hard to catch, you won't believe it, okay? There are two ways you can get an Ember Shirt. You can either catch it or you can evolve it. Now, what do you evolve it from? Well, you have to evolve it from a burn newt. And now, when a burn newt reaches level 20, it turns into a singlet or something like that. Now, once that singlet has reached level 32, it turns into an infurit. And from that, once that has reached level 45, it turns into an Ember Shirt. Now, since this is Prodigy Vicky, you can't expect all of the information to be accurate. But still, you got an approximation around which level it will turn. And another thing is that this is the only pet in Prodigy which has four evolutions, right? Okay. So now, there's another special thing about this. This pet can cast three different spell types. It can cast fire spells, water spells, and thunder spells. This um, pet is strong against plants, ice, and it's okay against fire. This pet is also neutral against storm and astral. It's weak against water and shadow, but here's the thing. If you're fighting a water pet team, and you just happen to have your Ember Shirt at um, level 68 or above, and you have enough to cast a three-person attack, well, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to cast an electric spell named Ultimate Power, which will attack all three people on the opposing enemy team. Now, if you already don't know, water-type elements in Prodigy are weak against Storm, right? Skywatch. Now, this includes Skywatch type spells. Well, now, if we head over to our Ember Shirt, we notice that it has a Skywatch type sp spell, Ultimate's Power. Thus, this will give us some advantage against water, though it is considered weak against water because it is because water strength is against the Ember Shirt. Now, you guys might be wondering okay, so you've told us how to catch an Ember Shirt and how do you evolve it? Well, I'm gonna go my way to evolve an Ember Shirt. I'd probably go with that way if I were you. But just to let you know, if you catch an Ember Shirt naturally at level 100, it'll have more health than if you evolved an Ember Shirt at level 100. Let's suppose that you caught an Ember Shirt at level 100 and it has a health around 8,800. Right? Naturally, you caught it. Now, if you evolved it, it might have health a couple lower than that, so 8,600 or 500 around that. So, it only matters on a few health bonus, but still, it's pretty helpful. Now, here's the thing about catching it. You can only catch an Ember Shirt at one place. And this is kind of frustrating because you don't have multiple choices to do it. And since the update that Prodigy has done, Catching an Ember Shirt has become harder now. So the first step you must do is you must reach the Royal Kitchen in, um, what is it called, Bonfire Spire. Guys, if you're attempting to catch an Ember Shirt, you have to go to the Royal Kitchen. And now this might seem to you guys as, what's the Royal Kitchen? Well, here's the thing. If you want to catch an Ember Shirt from the Royal Kitchen, what you have to do is you have to go to battle with these burn newts, and every once in a very long while, one of these burn newts appears with a three-person team in which there's one Ember Shirt and another burn newt. Well, here's the thing. I've tried over a hundred times and I didn't get that, okay? So now you might be wondering, well, what about the old method all the YouTubers were about when it was here a few months ago? An year-old old method? Well, here's the thing about that. Prodigy saw it and now the Ember Shirt doesn't spawn in as a straight battle. And now I've tried getting the Ember Shirt from the Burn Newts for at least a hundred times and nothing has been su successful. So that's one thing. I would say you guys can try to catch it. Let's suppose that we go into a battle, right? What we see, there's no Ember Shirt here. So you guys can either hit the refresh button 
which is reload or F5. Let's suppose that you hit it. Well, there's a slight chance that Prodigy won't let you log back in because it's been happening to me all the time. Another thing is that you could... Another thing is that if you want to refresh your login, you first have to finish the battle. So if you're trying to catch an Ember Shirt, I recommend, I recommend staying at a first grade level if you're trying to just quickly get through it. And if you want, once you've battled, you see there's no Ember Shirt or there's no burn units at first, what you do is you hit the log out button, and that's pretty simple, I'll show that to you. Right, and now here's the thing guys, even if you want to evolve it, what you have to do is you have to catch a burn youth first thing. And where do you catch a burn youth? Well, the main place where I have found burn youth is mainly in the royal kitchen, so you might have to end up searching in the royal kitchen here, or maybe later on it might appear in the fire tower, which might come in Prodigy in a later update. That's a guess, guys. Okay. So now let's suppose you're battling here and you got yourself the burn use. Right, so now we caught the burn use. Well, now we have to go through three whole evolutions in order to get closest to the Ember Shard. Now, once you've reached level 45, what will happen is that your Inferno Vet or something like that whatever it's pronounced, will start to evolve, and it will turn into an Ember Shard. Nah, I don't want to do more battles, or there aren't any more Burn Newts left. Well, then you can click the Log Out button, and click the Log Back In button. Now, let's see here. There's one more Burn Newt, so you guys could choose to battle the Burn Newts, or you could Log Out, right? So let me just Log Back In again. So to Log Out, you see this cog thing here? It looks like the wheel, or that thingy in a clock well what you do is you click on it it shows this up and you click on the and you click on the log out button okay so we click kaboom and so now we're logged back in we click next home any world you want i'll just go into animalia and we load in again now we see that all three are burn mutes so what you could do is you could battle one hit reload you could battle one log out or you can battle all of them it depends on you the possibilities for this is a few there are a few possibilities with this right so let's show you guys another possibility what if you end up with no burn nudes at all right so now guys we have this scenario where none of these guys are burn nudes so if you see this you either hit refresh or log out now let's suppose somehow you've managed to get yourself an ember shirt in a battle with a burn nudes well, what you have to do is you have to battle and catch it. I've already tried so much, I find no point in trying to catch an Ember Shirt. But now you guys can still evolve one. It's not that bad. This is a very decent pet. You can evolve it from a Burn Newt as well. So yeah, it's a decent pet. And yeah, that's the way to get an Ember Shirt. And those are some details about it. And okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys got some information about the update of Ember Shirt. And yeah, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up. Keep watching and keep rocking. One Dr. Genius out.